Hey, welcome to the Yarn and Yarns YouTube channel. My name is Angela and this is Vlogtober Day 30, I think. Yesterday's video was super short. I didn't really feel like recording much yesterday. Um, I don't know about you, but when the clocks change, this is, I guess, if you're in the UK, um, it always takes me a week or so to adjust, even though it's only an hour's time difference. Uh, so yeah, feeling a bit out of sorts and I feel like I might be dancing around the edge of a cold as well because I'm getting a bit sniffly but that might be just because we've put the central heating on now so yeah going from cold air to hot air at this time of year always makes me feel a bit strange until I get used to it anyway enough waffle about weather and clock changes <laughs> It's Tuesday here and uh, it's a nice bright sunny morning. It's pretty cold. Um, I've got my lake shore, lakeside shore on again uh, and I shall definitely be wearing my Angelica when I venture out of the house. It's warm enough in the house to not need it. I think I'll be wearing that Angelica a lot. Those squishy cables are so nice and warm. I think I'm going to probably do a bit of a walk before I head off to the shop this morning. I've started wearing my Fitbit Again, I haven't worn it for a little while because uh, it was irritating my wrist. I was getting a bit of an allergic reaction, uh, but I thought I'd give it one more go to see if it was, that was just a one-off. So yeah, I think I might get some steps in this morning while it's nice and bright and sunny. Uh, but I'm going to eat some breakfast first and drink my tea, uh, and then we'll see what the day brings. I've got one group in the shop today. Uh, I don't usually have a group on a Tuesday, but they come every now and then. Uh, so that should keep me busy for a good portion of today at the shop. And then later, uh, James and I are thinking about heading out to dinner for a change. Um, as the nights have drawn in, we thought we might resurrect our date night, I guess, for want of a better phrase. Um, yeah, because it's really easy just to come home and like sit in front of the telly and just veg out and yeah, kind of get involved in our own things. So... We thought maybe once a fortnight we'd make the effort to go out and do something. So yeah, that might start tonight. Um, James is actually away on a short business trip today, so I guess it will depend on whether he has the energy uh, once he comes home from that travelling. So yeah, we'll see. I worked on a few projects yesterday. I put some extra rows into the test knit that I'm doing for Nessa. Um, so I'm a good way down the foot now. I also uh, did a little bit of knitting at the cinema on my Koi Pond socks. I didn't actually knit as much as usual. Um, I think it's just part of me feeling a little bit out of sorts. Uh, but I got a little way up the leg. Uh, it's really fun. I love how this colourway is working up. I've got this sort of spiral pulling going on around the leg so far. So as you can see, I'm about halfway up the leg of the sock on that one. And also yesterday evening, I worked on a project that has not seen any attention for quite some time. And I managed to finish the first of my Somerset versus Norway mitts. And these are a really lovely pair of colour work mitts. They need a good blocking. Uh, but as you can see, they've got a hair and moon um, motif on. And I had this one finished uh, all by the thumb so I put the thumb in last night and I also cast on for the second one although I haven't got very far as you can see not really much there to show uh, but it's a start so um, that's always a big hurdle isn't it getting something on the needles and once it's on it's there and ready to pick up as and when you have time so yeah the cold weather is inspiring me I really want another pair of mitts I have one pair of mitts and I wore them to death last winter so I'm excited to uh, be working on this one again at the shop I started a wee toddler hat for a customer sorry if you can hear the cat in the background she wants to go out but I'm heading out now so She's out of luck, <laughs> but she's really very grumpy about it. Uh, so yeah, I started a toddler hat at the shop. So uh, if I remember, I will show you that once I get to the shop, but I am off for a little walk in the sunshine now.
here this morning. The light behind me is beautiful and I have the place to myself. Remember at the Knit Tea Retreat, I made that needle felted sort of abstract piece. Uh, so I've been wandering along the beach a little bit this morning and I found three pieces of wood. So here they are. I think I'm gonna keep this middle one. Uh, it's a bit dark at the moment, but I think it's still quite damp. So I think that will dry out nicely. I love this one, but this one's way too big for the piece that I had in mind. I might take that one home with me anyway. We're lucky to have a fairly clean beach here in Panath, um, but in my little wanderings, I'll just show you this tiny little patch of beach that I've been wandering over. So I've just come down those steps and there's just this tiny little square um, between the steps and the ramp for the lifeboat. The lifeboat station is that building just up there. It's nice to do a little bit of beach tidying. Um, I wish I'd bought a carrier bag now and I would have done a little bit more uh, but that's really all I can carry. The tide is right in this morning. Look how still and calm beautiful sea is. I really have to head up to work now. Don't want to. Please don't make me. <laughs> it's gorgeous down here this morning. I'm so glad I came. Is it just me or does that look like some kind of creepy dinosaur with his little arm and his eye staring. As you can see, I made it into the shop. I'm a little bit sad about that because it was beautiful this morning. I could quite happily have spent the morning strolling, sitting, knitting. <laughs> Might have been a bit cold for sitting outside and knitting. It's half term here this week, so I'm expecting a pretty quiet week. My group will be arriving in about an hour or so. Uh, so I thought actually I would just show you the little hat that I started yesterday. I am knitting just a really simple hat for in a one to two year old size. Uh, it's going to be um, what the pattern calls a tea bag style. So it's basically a square um, hat. You don't do any decreases, you just knit to the length and then um, join the top. Originally this pattern has the hat knit flat, but who can be bothered with that? <laughs> Not me. So I am magic looping it. I have finished the rib, I had to do about three inches of rib, and now I'm just knitting up until the hat measures about eight inches from the start. Um, and then I'll just graft Kitchener the top uh, that way. There's no side seam to deal with, and yeah, should be fairly straightforward. I don't mind kitchenering, so yeah, should be knit all in one piece. This is a Serdar Snuggly yarn in colour 186. So it's Serdar Snuggly Crofter, which is the Fair Isle effect double knit, and the colour is 186, and it's called Logan. It is coming up to half past four so my day is almost finished i've just got to wash up and do my end of day stock update i finished the hat that i was working on um but i haven't got it anymore my customer came in and took the hat straight away so um i was going hoping to show that to you but no longer in my possession never mind um I have started a new project this afternoon as well. Uh, so my next pair of commission socks, uh, my customer chose the uh, West Yorkshire Spinners Signature 4 Ply Fairy Lights, which is this year's Christmas colourway. Um, so I've made a start on those. Haven't got very far, but as you can see, I have done the cuff and I'm just starting the leg. So these will be, oops, <laughs> flicking them at myself. These will be the projects that I work on in the shop. Um, over the next week or so. So yeah, a reasonably productive afternoon. It's been fairly quiet in the shop today, but um, as I mentioned earlier, it's half term, so I'm expecting that. But uh, nonetheless, it was steady and I had the company of some of my regular customers, which was nice. So yeah, it's getting quite dark out there already. Um, so I just need to get tidied up and I can head on home. 
and we shall see later on whether James and I end up heading out for dinner or whether it is just a cosy night at home. I'm about to head home and I still have this big stick sticking out of my bag from my foray to the beach this morning. I'm feeling quite um, Dick Whittington. I feel like I should have a spotty handkerchief to um, tie off the end of that with, uh, you know, a sandwich or something in it. 